Many critics have called 2015 a strong creative year for movies. But movie titles? That's a different story. Some sound less like titles than placeholders. Concussion is about concussions. Steve Jobs, Trumbo, and Joy are the stories of real people named Steve Jobs, Trumbo, and Joy. That's who I am. I want to go on as me. While Carol is the story of a fictional woman named Carol. And you'll never guess where much of Brooklyn takes place. We saw this no-frills approach for mainstream offerings like Spy and Everest, and for highbrow indies like Grandma, Get out of my home, I'm crazy old The Lady in the Van, and the Stanford Prison Experiment. The Tina Fey, Amy Poehler party picture Sisters is just the latest in a string of comedies in recent years that deliver exactly what they promise in two words, Max. You don't need to think long to get the basic gist of what's going on with Neighbors, just want to say welcome to the hood, You're welcome. Chef, <laughs> wow. Sex Tape, Hey. Holy. <laughs> Identity Thief, The Dictator, Horrible Bosses, Bad Teacher, or Tower Heist. Not every director was afraid to go for an opaque title in 2015. Rare were moviegoers who understood the meaning of the title of Alejandro Gonzalez Iñárritu's The Revenant without looking it up. It means a person who has returned, especially, supposedly, from the dead. And Charlie Kaufman and Duke Johnson went a step further with their new stop-motion drama, Anomalisa. The title is a nickname invented for a character named Lisa who is, yes, an anomaly. If there's any doubt about whether studios will get more creative with their titles in 2016, look no further than January 22nd. That's the release date for an R-rated comedy starring Robert De Niro. He plays an older character who, in one scene, is at a wild spring break bash. Party till you're pregnant! The name of the movie? Dirty Grandpa. Look at this guy! Old and tight!